Let's review what's new on the 2025 Mechanical Engineering PE exam exam specs for the machine design and materials option. We're in the truck office today. It's just so much easier to squeeze in a video between job sites than set up the garage. So this way I can get more videos out, I think, especially as students are starting to become more interested in things like the PE exam exam specs. And so uh, in 2025, October, the subtopics of the exam specs, the topics list of what's included in the exam, is going from 43 subtopics to 34. So let's look at what is all included. So back in 2017, and ever since then, the MDM PE exam, or Machine Design and Materials Professional Engineering exam for Mechanical, was broken down into two main categories, principles and applications. Now, in October 2025 and forward, there will be six main categories. So let's take a look at this, section by section. The Basic Engineering Practice subsection has basically been copied over without Quality Assurance and Quality Control, QAQC, and Units and Conversions. Those do not show up in the 2025 exam specs. Engineering science and mechanics, including kinematics and dynamics, has totally been removed. You don't see that in the 2025 exam specs. Statics, I think of as foundational for some of the topics on the new exam specs. So even though you don't see it explicitly stated, I think it is implicit in a lot of these topics. So just because you don't see a fundamental topic on the 2025 exam specs, I would be cautious not to study it. I uh, even reached out to NCEES, that's the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, the folks who define this exam, and asked them, if we don't see something like dynamics, does that really mean it's not included? Because it does show up in the latest reference handbook that you get while you take the exam. So it can be a little bit confusing that we have topics in the handbook that are excluded from the exam specs. And so their response was, yes, that's right. If it's not in the exam specs, it's not fair game for the test, but we have more than we need included in the handbook for future exam spec revisions so that we can change the exam specs in the future without changing the handbook. Still err on the side of being conservative because some could argue that dynamics, while it's not part of the exam specs uh, going forward, may be implicit in things like basic machines and mechanisms, section 5F. The material properties category, I think, got absorbed into several different categories. Physical properties like density and melting point get absorbed into basic engineering practice, section 1. Chemical uh, material properties drops down into section 6F mechanical properties kind of falls in line with the rest of the basic mechanics that you see with thermal stresses and interference stresses, but we don't see any mention of time-dependent behavior like creep. The basic mechanics, strength of materials, stress, strain, shear, bending, buckling, gets absorbed into the mechanics of materials section 2. And in order to drop the number of subsections from 43 to 34, it's been nice because now it's a little bit more concise and consolidated, but also there's less information because vibration, where you see natural frequencies and damping and force vibration, so you really knew what to study. All of that gets absorbed into one subsection 5E, just vibrating systems. But we can look historically at what the old exam specs are to kind of know what's included. Mechanical components, mechanisms, gears, bearings, belts, shafts, that kind of thing, all gets absorbed into power transmission or mechanical components and assemblies. And so you can see the different coloration on the screen of what goes where, but there is no explicit mention of dampers. So that's why I have that one crossed out. Joints and fasteners was basically retitled mechanical attachments but you can see the same kind of themes throughout. That's bonds, non-threaded fasteners, threaded fasteners, uh, you know, that's all, all the kind of stuff like welds and shackles and screws and bolts and anchors, that kind of stuff. And finally, supportive knowledge, section 2C from earlier, is now section 6 going forward. And it's basically verbatim the same subsections. There's some fine terminology differences like FEA has become finite element analysis slash method, but you get the idea. It's the same kind of stuff. Okay, good luck. Mm -hmm.